Sairam students. So nice to meet you back again. Yes, after many days. 10th standard students. Yes, not forgotten me now. Yes, this is Rajim is here. So we will continue with our 10th standard English. What are we going to learn today? Any idea? Yes, we will continue with our next poem in our English. What is it going to be? Before that, we have got to do something. Yes, you see this table over here. Over here, what we have to do is we have to match the appropriate ages with the stages. Yes, you can see over here in the first column, it is given age group. And in the second column, it is given stages. So, what we are going to do is we are going to match them accordingly. Yes, what will be the birth to two years? Yes, what will it be? We will do it. Yes. Birth to two years. What is it called? Birth to two years. Small children. Um, they are called as infants. So my option will be the D option. Yes. Then three years to 12 years. Three years to 12 years. That is your childhood. That is our childhood. Then 13 years to 17 years. This is the time when you become a teenager. 13 years. So, teenage or adolescence. Teenage or adolescence. Fine. Then, 18 years to 44 years. This is when the period when you start becoming young. Yes, what will it be? It will be adulthood. It is our adulthood over here. Then, 45 years to 60 years. Who are they? What are they called? They're not, they are not called as senior citizens and all. Senior citizens after the age of 60. Yes, middle aged people. They are called as the middle aged people. Fine. Then, 65 years up to 75 to 80 years. What are they called? They are called as the senior citizens or the elderly people. Then, 80 years and above. Above 80 years, it is old age or the second childhood. Why is it called as the second childhood children? Any idea? Don't know? Fine. We will learn about all this in our next poem. Yes? Before we go, this, from this tabular form, where we come to know the different age groups which we have, we go through in our life. Yes? Most important thing, life. What is life? In your ninth standard, you have learned the very first poem on life. Yes, life believe is not a dream. So dark as sages say. This were the first two lines. So what do the sages say? It is not a dark dream. Yes, sages say life believe is not a dream. So dark as sages say. What do the sages say? Life is a dark dream. But it is not a dark dream. Don't believe it to be a dark dream. You can make it colorful. How can we make it colorful? It is up to us how to make it colorful. Yes, life. There are many other things which can be said about life. Life is a journey. Enjoy it. Life is an ice cream. Eat it before it melts. Life is like a river. It flows. It keeps on flowing. All these things have been said about life. Yes. So in this life of ours is one life which has been given to us. We have so many stages to follow. We have to go through so many stages of life. And these stages of life we are going to learn in our next poem. That is... All the world's a stage by William Shakespeare. You must have heard. There was nobody who, went, who was learning English who would not have heard about William Shakespeare. The great poet, the great lighter, writer, the great dramatist. All the world's a stage. Now over here the poet has called the world a stage. Why has he called the world a stage? We will see it in our poem. But before that we will have an introduction of our poet. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born in 1564 and who breathed his last in 1616 was an English poet. He belonged to England. Okay, children? Playwright and actor widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's prominent dramatist. Prominent means important. Yes. He is often called England's national poet and the bard of Avon. This poem is taken from his play As You Like It. Here he compares the world to a stage where the drama of human life is enacted. See, you can be connected with the tabular form which we have done it. Different stages of life we have seen it in the tabular form. So those stages, we are enacting it on a stage. 
yes it is like a drama it is our role we come play our role and then we uh, take an exit yes so he compelled the world to a stage where the drama of human life is enacted it is the cycle of human life which is enacted over here okay now we will be reading the poem and then accordingly i will explain it to you all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and their entrances and one man in his plays many time plays many parts his act being seven ages at first the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms when the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwilling to school and then the lover sighing his sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress i bro then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the par jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth and then the justice in fair round belly with go good cap in lined with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise saws and modern instances and so he plays his part the sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose and pouch on side his youthful hose well saved a world to wide for his shrunk shank and big manly voice turning again towards childish treble pipes and whistles in his sound last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste and sans everything written by william shakespeare so this is the poem which we have read now we will see what is the meaning of the poem okay all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and entrances and one man in his life time plays many parts okay so the first four lines all the world's a stage over here the poet has compared the world to a stage yes where all men and women merely players so where also the men and women who take they have been compared to as players players means as actors who come on the stage do their part act do their act and then take a take an exit they have the exits and entrances on the stage of life in the stage of life where we have our exits and entrances we play our parts now what do you mean by exits and entrances over here the word exit over here according to human life means at the time when we die that is the death and entrances means that is just the opposite of death birth okay so we take the entry onto the stage when we are born isn't it human life starts with birth yes so we take the entry onto the stage the with the world which is a stage with our birth and how do we take an exit it is with our death so the first four lines tells that all the world is a stage all the human beings are players over here they take the entry with their birth and they take their exit with their death and one man in his time plays many parts so in his full lifetime one man plays many parts go back to the table of right to recollect the table which we did yes we saw the childhood we saw the infant infancy the childhood the school or then you saw the teenager then you saw the adolescence uh, then you saw the middle age you saw the senior citizens and then the old age or second childish so seven stages we have seen similarly the poet has also mentioned seven stages of life the life cycle of human being each and every one in his you know his or her lifetime has to undergo has to go through all these seven stages of life his act being seven ages yes we we take an entry with our birth so along when we are born we the first stage is that of the infant at first the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms yes nurse's arms when you're born you're crying you're mewling and puking puking means you're vomiting yes in the nurse's arm nurse's arm doesn't mean the nurse uh, who is there in the hospital it may be the person who's taking care of you fine 
mewling and puking small children in fancy you must have seen your parents might also be telling you boy you would used to cry a lot when you were born new born yes new born children cry a lot they are very hungry so how will they tell that they are hungry they start crying okay so mewling and puking in the nurse's arms then the whining school boy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwilling to school then comes the childhood the second stage is that of your childhood first is infancy you are an infant second stage is that of a childhood whining school boy whining also again means you're crying the first day of school everybody cries yes with a satchel satchel is the school bag shining morning face creeping like snail like a snail you're, you like a snail means you're just you're being compared to a snail the speed of the snail you are unwilling to go to school forcibly your parents will come and keep uh, make you go to school yes you are going to be you are being uh, to be woken up and then you are going to be uh, dressed up by your parents and then you are being sent to school unwillingly want to go to sleep you must be, not want to go to school so unwilling to go to school yes then and then the lover sighing like the furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress eyebrow okay this is the third stage the lover the person youth yes youth there are so many transitions in the youth as well yes so like a lover you are you full of energy full of thing enthusiasm you want to do um, many things so over here it is being compared with uh, the lover is being compared to a furnace sighing like a furnace burning like the furnace the how the furnace makes a noise sound with a woeful ballad you know all those uh, sad full thoughts you have sad full feelings you have made to his mistress eyebrows or you can the all those activities which you do which you do to impress the person you like him or her whoever it is yes made to his mistress eyebrow means the how will you impress the person whom you like then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the part jealous in honor sudden and quick in quarrel the fourth stage then a soldier the middle aged man yes full of strange oaths and bearded like the part part means over here the short form of leopard okay full of strange oaths means he has so many things to fulfill so many ambitions to be fulfilled and bearded like the part strength like the leopard jealous in honor and sudden and quick in quarrel so all these qualities you tend to do everything whatever you want in that uh, period of that stage of your life you want to earn your fame you want to earn success you want to have your life of your own you want to have your own house you want to be settled in life so trying to do gain all these things is being compared over here sudden and quick in quarrel where you can get angry very fast okay seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth seeking this is also part of the fourth stage bubble's reputation yes bubble reputation what do you mean by your bubble reputation reputation means something which you earn a name for yourself or you can say rather say success for yourself now see why is success being compared to a bubble over here just like how a bubble is temporary similarly whatever success you get is very difficult for you you to maintain it you have to work hard to maintain that success so similarly the success which you earn is temporary and you after that success you have to gain another success that is why it is being said to be bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth cannon's mouth even in hard difficult circumstances you have to keep up with the success which you have achieved and then the justice in fair round belly with good cape in line with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of vice sauce and modern instances instances and so he plays his part okay so over here this is our fourth stage of life where it, what what fifth stage of a life the first stage was of the infant the second stage was that of the child child going to school the third stage was of the teenager of the adulthood the fourth stage was that of a person who middle aged man who wants to earn name and fame the fifth stage over here is that of the person who is who and then the justice who has fair round belly with good cape and line so over here it is talking about that person has gained weight he has having a round belly okay with fine cape and line and with eyes severe and a nice beard he has is having a formal cut and with wise saws wise saws means with a lot of experiences learned through a lot of experiences in his life and modern instances modern he has gone through the all these 
earlier uh, stages of life and he has many things to tell experiences to give to the other people as well and so he plays his part he's playing his part of sharing his experience with others and try training them what to do and what not to do the sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with spectacles on nose and pouch on side his youthful hose well saved a world to wide for his shrunk shank and his big manly voice this is the sixth stage which you can call it as the old age yes as the senior citizens yes the sixth stage is the senior citizens the senior age where it is slippered pantaloon where it is, those pants are not fitting to that person they have with with spectacles on nose means maybe because of the age the eyesight might has been weakened and with a youthful hose well saved a world to wide we must have thought that i have done a lot of thing in the world for his shrunk shank and his big manly voice the manly voice which earlier they had is going to take a transition see even you children you all are at the age where you will be having so many changes in your physical appearance as well and you will be having a lot of hormonal changes as well especially those boys also you may be having a hoarse voice a very raw you know rough voice where you can find that you your voice is changing from being a voice of a boy to being a voice of a man now yes so similarly when this person comes to an old age their voice also starts changing to being a loud voice it starts becoming calm becoming down it decreases the strength decreases turning again towards try childish treble the voice may be shaking maybe not be able to speak properly pipes and whistles in his sounds pipes and whistles in his sounds means what in the the way that they may be sometimes sounding like how the sound comes from whistles and pipes they may sound like that they may be panting also panting you know when you uh, try to breathe after you run and you try to be breathe that is called as panting so when you pant you make that sound so those similar sounds come um, out of the people who were of the sixth stage last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste sans everything last scene of all that is the last stage of all is that ends this strange eventful history this history of our life cycle is second childishness that is the age the very uh, old age It's being compared to second childishness. Why is it so? Because when you are born as a child, you are unaware about what is happening around in and around you. When you are born, you don't have teeth. You don't. You have eyes. You have taste, but you don't have teeth as well. Yes. So uh, also, when as soon as you are born, your eyesight is also not that good. You cannot get the taste of everything and sense everything. Fine. You cannot walk. You cannot speak. Only thing you can cry is when you are small, baby. Yes. so similarly the same things are being compared to the seventh stage of a human life that is why it is called as second childishness the old age very old age is compared to second childishness because again when you come to that stage sans teeth sans means without okay sans teeth yes along as soon as you age your teeth start falling off so without teeth with sans eyes your eyesight is weakened i means your eyes are not pl- taken out it is without your eyesight your eyes start getting bad your vision start getting weaker sans taste you lose taste to certain things okay and sans everything means you need support you need help from every somebody to do the needful fine so these were the seven stages which we learnt in our today's lesson the first stage was that of the infant the second stage the school going boy the third stage was that of the teenager or the adulthood the four, uh, adolescence age then you have the adulthood then you have the uh, person who is of uh, trying to get all those things ready for himself the sixth stage is that of uh, the senior citizens and the last stage is that of the second childishness so this is what our life is all about a stage where we come we take entry with our birth we play all the seven stages and then we take the exit with our death so that is why the poet has compared our life to a stage all the world's a stage and all men and women merely players we play our part we take our entry we play our part and then we take our exit
Yes, so that is what we have in our poem. To and what you have to do is you have to complete this. Yes, read the poem carefully and complete the following table. You just have to read the poem. All the seven stages you have to do this, children. Okay, it's a homework for you. You have to do this. and do it in your book or you can do it on your assignment paper so whatever is available with you and complete it's a homework for you okay so the seven ages you have to mention the role which is played and the qualities or action actions everything is mentioned but try to write it in your own words is it clear so bye for now take care stay safe